Hello all, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Remember, this is a timeless message. So if you are listening to this today, this message is for you from spirit for today. So let's get right into it. Today, I pulled two tarot cards and one angel card for you. We've got the two of wands, angel card, Psychic Senses, Archangel Raziel, and the King of Cups. So first off, the Two of Wands speaks to a very prosperous, creative career partner. If you don't already have a career partner, you may be partnering up with somebody soon, okay? Because with this King of of cups energy, it speaks to a very charismatic, strong, creative, very intuitive person. And they usually, it refers to a creative career or even a career, uh, a spiritual career now. And I'd say even more the point, it probably is having to do with the psychic senses card here. We're talking about a spiritual themed career of some sort, whether it's doing readings on YouTube, um, working with clients one-on-one -on -one in person. Um, there's just so many different ways that you can be a spiritual teacher and utilize it as um, a career. So all very positive cards here. Okay. It's looking once again, if you don't like have someone in the picture for a partner, or maybe you're working on your own. Maybe you are actually the king of cups energy yourself. So, and if that's the case and you're just working on your own, first off, be open-minded to possibly somebody new coming into the mix. And because this person has a lot of expertise, a lot of connections, um, is just very grounded and what what he does or she does it's actually a, even though it's king of cups it's actually more of a feminine card so this could be male female anywhere in between it doesn't matter um but that's the, the type of person we're thinking and once again this could be you and that just means that what you're doing is working it is great use those psychic abilities in your work um also realize like the more you look for miracles, the more you see, you know you see miracles in everyday things, or you look for um, opportunities, the more they arise. Okay, once again, realize what you have, focus on the positive that you do have, but then just focus on what you want, not the opposite of that. This is very very important. It's you know attraction. No, you know, that's how this universe works, right? So if you were thinking about what you want, you were going to attract it. Try not to fall through the pitfalls of, you know, negative thinking or thinking, oh, if this doesn't work out, because you're just going to attract that into your experience and you don't want to do that. So look for those miracles, look for those opportunities, see everything as an opportunity, as it really is you know, and it, even if it doesn't look like it, it is, everything here is, okay? And if you see it in that light, things will manifest very quickly for you. And this brings me to um, the totem animal that came up in my meditation, which was the rabbit. And the rabbit, as probably a lot of you know, is a very good omen. It's considered good luck, means fertility, abundance, and that speaks to, it could be, of course, a child. Somebody could be pregnant or getting pregnant. But with the two of wands here and the king of cups, I think it's more about fertility in your business, in your ideas, like you are brewing up something great. And the other thing with the rabbit is they're quick, right? So this could be a very quick, like an idea pops in quick and you and or your partner develop something quickly. You get an amazing idea and then bam, bam, bam. It just all comes together. So this could be a very positive, quick change. As long as you stay 
in the mindset and remind yourself you are divine. You are not limited to what most people think, you know, in the material world, you can get into that quantum field and make changes. Just realize that you are, we are all psychic on some level and that you can always be in touch with the universe, with all, with source, whatever word you like to define. Um, and just realize that and just see that everything really is an opportunity and a miracle and look for them and you will find them. Okay. And this is going to make everything manifest quicker into your experience. Um, and it's going to be fun. I get a lot of fun. All of this is fun. <laughs> it all seems very fun. The one thing I will say is, you know, as you will know about the rabbit, they are very gentle. So I think being gentle with yourself during this time, for example, you know, just because you're hearing this reading doesn't mean, oh my gosh, now I have to quickly manifest this into my life. Don't be hard on yourself. Make progress, you know, continually make progress. Don't expect things to happen on their own. Um, I'm a huge meditator, but you got to get in alignment and then make action. You have to take action. Um, although a lot can, a huge amount happens vibrationally, but you got to line up with it. So meditation is huge, but you still got to make those steps, right? And it doesn't take much. You show the universe that you're going to do this one thing and they'll bring 10 more things over to you just for doing that one thing. And so just keep motivated, keep seeing those things, seeing those miracles. Um, yeah. Cause this is, this is a really positive fun time. Once again, just getting a lot of fun energy. Oh, and the other thing I was going to say about the rabbit. So the rabbit is gentle. So be gentle with yourself. Realize that you are a very strong being, but you're also a very sensitive being. So be mindful of that in your everyday and take kid care of yourself. And secondly, they are very timid, as you know. Um, so I would say, you know, maybe although this might manifest quickly, be mindful in what you do rather than rush and make a mistake. Don't be impatient, as I guess of what I'm trying to say. Don't be impatient with yourself or others at this time. Um, and maybe be aware of where you're being timid in your life and where you're being timid in this situation. Um, and I think this King of Cups energy, whether it's you or someone else, is going to come in and help you with that because the King of Cups is a very strong, confident card as, as well as very intuitive. So that's coming in for you. But just to remind yourself that, you know, Nothing serious is going on here. We're here to have fun. And you do have amazing capabilities. You are here to show your ideas, your authenticity, to shine that light. And you're worthy of that. And you're worthy of all of this abundance that's coming to you. As long as you remember that and know it and live it, you're all set. Okay? So thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it please do like or subscribe. Once again, here at We Are Rising means we are rising in our vibration collectively. And I am here to assist in that, okay? This is one way that I do it. So please comment. I love to hear your comments and letting me know how this resonated with you. And once again, we are in this together. So please do like and subscribe and comment and we can have a conversation and figure out other ways to uplift because I'll be doing other things on this channel um, as well as these messages. Okay. So enjoy the day. Love and light.